excellent job on helping that angle be known to the world. Congratulations. Yes. Now, let's find another unknown angle. and We're going to crank up the heat a little bit on this one. These angles are a little bit more difficult to find, but if we pay close attention, it won't be too hard. Let's see. Angle HGK. I'm talking about from here. H to G to K has a measure of 68 degrees. Say hello to angle HGK, 68 degrees. Angle FGK, let's go find FGK. Here we are. F to G to K. Oh, the big one. We found the big guy, the big angle. What is the big angle? It has a measure of 142 degrees. Wow, big angle. Say hello to FGK, measure 142. The question is, what is the measure of angle FGH? So let's go find FGH. F to G. So this part right here. This is what we're looking for. That is our unknown. So let's make FGH known to the world. So let's think about this. If the total measurement for FGK from here to here is 142 and the measurement from HGK is 68, this is like a part, part, whole problem. It's almost like 142 equals something, our missing angle, plus 68. Because this is the opposite of the angle we found last time. Last time we combined the two small ones to get the big one, but this time we know the big one and we're trying to find the small one. So how can we figure that out? Well, if we want to find out the measure of FGH, all we have to do is take away 68 from the big guy, and what's left over will be our measurement. So 142 minus 68. Very simple subtraction problem. Ah, uh, there they are. One more known angle. Doesn't it feel good? All right. Go try to find one more unknown angle yourself, and good luck.